So who can you help and how? Well, there's actually, uh, Wendy, there's actually services for everybody in the community. So I think that's the first thing. Uh, any one of our organizations is totally equipped to support any job seeker in our community, whether they be a young person that's going out, maybe finding their first job, or a student looking for employment, or somebody that's been out of the workforce for a while wanting to get back in, or somebody that's been recently laid off. We're, we just have a whole range of services for all community members, so that shouldn't be a hold up for anybody thinking, am I eligible or not? There's a level of service available everywhere for everyone. With the literacy um, programs that we offer in the community as part of the Employment Ontario Network that we're talking about today, uh, we, we help anyone who needs to build their skills for further employment or, or for education if they want to go to college, take on an apprenticeship. So it could be somebody who's fairly fresh out of school and just needs to do some upgrading before they move on. It could be someone who is moving into a, a career transition later on, uh, an older worker. And we work really closely with the employment service providers that Mike was talking about to make sure that it's a supported, streamlined, um, straightforward process for the, the indi individual. And so we work very closely with employers in our local labor markets and they, um, they will often contact us first, let us know about the opportunities that they have available, and check to see if, our can if we have any candidates that suit that particular role. Um, if we don't, there's also great programs out there like the Canada Ontario Job Grant, and in that situation we can take someone who is unemployed and doesn't necessarily have the skills or education to be able to do that job, and two-thirds of the training cost is funded through Employment Ontario. So the employer gets a candidate who is trained specifically for the occupation that they need them to be in with the training that is really directed from that employer and it benefits everyone. The, the individual gets a whole new skill set out of it and the employer gets someone who is trained specific to their needs. You know what, at least what I've learned today, first of all, is that you're out there and you've been out there, we just maybe didn't know how to access it. Mm -hmm. So just before we run out of time, best way to access it is? I would say um, Debbie's recommendation of the Employment Ontario website. So if you just Google Employment Ontario, then the find a service feature allows you to put in your community and the type of service that you're looking for and you'll get a number of, of options. And remember there's no wrong door, so whoever you call will help you get to the right place. They'll direct you to the right place. Absolutely. The other thing I think we learned is free, which free. The, there's yeah. the magic <laughs> word, right? Well, so that's great. And not just free, but there actually are financial supports to help you move forward, whether it's the, in upgrading the child care and transportation, yeah. buying work boots or yep. other mm -hmm. equipment that you might need for work, um, helping to support getting uh, any supports in place that, that you need. That's great. And the specific website that you want to get out to people would be? So we'll go with the, the Find a Service, mm -hmm. uh, which is... Is it Job Central? It's, um, oh, it's, uh, it's a little c confusing. It's feats, F-E-A-T-S dot findhelp dot C-A. Okay. I'm sure.